Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, my name is Nox for welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Hogwarts Legacy reaction video. So I've seen clips of certain parts of the game from different trailers here and there over TikTok, different social medias, and I haven't really sat down and reacted to the common rooms, which have been out for a while now, but uh, since I got quite a lot of um, attention from my last video, uh, 16k views is something I could never thought I'd achieve in my in any YouTube career that I've ever done. It's like literally the highest view count I think I've ever got on a YouTube video for my whole time doing YouTube. So thank you to everybody that's watched the video, liked it, commented. You're all amazing. Thank you so, so much. And subscribed. Uh, and waiting for the new series and when the game comes out to watch see how I do playing the game. So... In the last episode, or kind of like the first episode to the Let's Play, this isn't really an episode, um, we went through the hat selection, or the sorting hat selection, and we got Gryffindor, we went through the Patrona selection and got a wolf, and we went through a wand, I think we got Rowan Wood wand, Rowan, a Rowan Wood wand from the wand selection. Uh, I'm going to say this right now, I'm going to stick with Gryffindor, because from the comments I received on that last video, uh, it seems like a lot of people... Did the test multiple times and got the same house. So I'm going to just assume that the questions I answered, which I did answer truthfully, gave me the house that I was meant to have. So I'm not going to change that because it seems like I have that um, that house now for, for the game. So that's great. So in this video, uh, we're going to go ahead and react to the different common rooms. So first we have the Ravenclaw common room. Let's see how this one looks. Now, I have seen clips about these, little clips here and there. Oh, very nice. I love that statue. I really like the statue of... Um... I forgot the, her name. I know I know something, Ravenclaw, I forgot her name. But I like that statue of her with her with a, with a diadem. She's wearing a diadem crown on her head. Very nice, really good library. Oh, is this, is this the entrance? Bit of gameplay here. Oh, okay, so that's like... Wings closing to open it up. That's really nice. And I like how circular it is. I, I, I think I heard something that the Ravenclaw common room in the books. Wow, look at this. Let me pause it. Look at this room. Sorry, I was just... Like I said in the Ravenclaw, in the, in the, uh, the movies or the books, it said the Ravenclaw common room was in a tower. And as you can see here, it's, they're all very circular rooms. I like how they've utilized it so well. With like kind of like loads of stars and astronomical diagrams on the on the floor. But look how big this room is. It's it's not cluttered either. This book's everywhere, as you can see. That's the clutteredness of it. But of course, they're very intellectual people. Ravenclaw are, or the houses. But this space is very very big, very nice, uh, and it just looks great. I wonder what this chain thing is used for. I'm I'm understand it's that's a chandelier, but I wonder what the train is going down into that area below. I'm currently watching it. Okay, so that's like kind of like a dome, like a glass dome. Ah, so a little interactive thing there. I wonder how many interactive things are going to be in these common rooms. Obviously loads, but I wonder how many there's going to be. How much detail they're going to put into it. Wow, look at that common room. Look at that. Uh, that is, um, I know I saw, that, saw it on the rugs in the one before. Let's just go back to that. Look at the detail of this the words does that say does that say ratio Doc, doctrine doctrine is it doctrine that is i think so i love the detail the words and stuff and there's going to be so many little details that you're going to have to stop and just take a really good look at to see exactly what it actually is i i remember like, like i love games that are open world like this this is why i love playing them i love going to places where and just and just going into a place and just having a look around seeing what there is this is why i'm a big fan of like skyrim and stuff like fallout just stopping for a minute and having a look at what there is around and the detail that's in this common room is amazing i'm really hoping this version they're showing us of the common room is going to look this exact and i'm hoping we can actually visit all the common rooms even though we're going to be a gryffindor but yeah like i said this common room looks amazing fits the ravenclaw aesthetic and um yeah i think we'll move on to the next common room so we have hufflepuff which is my girlfriend's house um well house selection in the game not her house actually but this is what our house would probably look like 
plants everywhere, looks like a hobbit's dream. I believe a lot of reviews online were saying it was pretty much like a hobbit type scenario going on. Look at the doorways. They're literally like straight out of Lord of the Rings. Straight out of Lord of the Rings out of the hobbit villages. Oh, okay. So this is the entrance. Like a beer keller. Like a beer keller barrel. Oh, I like how the it kind of folds up rather than just like two doors opening. It kind of rolls in on itself. Look at that. Look at the detail. Let's just stop that. Look, I like how low, cozy, confined. There's not really many windows, though. But because it looked like the entrance within a cellar, I kind of understand why that was the case. But, uh, yeah, look at it. A lot of things going on around here. I love the plants, how they stretch the vines up the wall. The detail is amazing. Oh, there's a ghost there. Oh, and there's a flying watering can. Watering all the plants. See, the Wizarding World can behold anything and everything. And look at all these things. It's not just vines hanging from different things. There's like, like, <laughs> there's like plant, plant pots on plant pots on plant pots with all the unique plants inside of it draping down to create the aesthetic. Look at it. And I guess this is where you probably come in. This is the main hall. And there'll be like other little bedrooms that are going to be tucked away in these little burrows that, burrows that you saw which look amazing. Like, where where is it? Uh, let's see if I can find it. I think it was here. Yeah, so you see all these doorways. I'm assuming these are going to be like the dorms. So this is obviously the main common room. Um, Even though there's a lot of plants here, it does look really good. But this, this looks a bit open, like the Ravenclaw one. I thought they would use... Like, maybe they'd put something here where the player's walking. But I, I, maybe there's something that they're planning with them that they don't want to have it so crowded. And these chests are everywhere as well. These golden chests in this common room. I can't remember if they're in the Ravenclaw one. But I'm thinking this might be like an inventory chest. Which, if you go to any of these chests around the world that you're in, your inventory will be there to collect. Um, which, in some ways, I like. But in some ways, if that's how it does work... This is a long shot, of course, if it does work like that. And that's what these are actually used for. Um, I'd like to actually just come back always to the common room. Just to be like, let's dump all that stuff off and go back out again. Uh, a bit like a Skyrim thing where you go out, go to dungeons, collect things. You go back, you dump all your stuff back in the chest and you go out again. Or you sell it or you do something with it. So, yeah, like I said, the common room looks amazing with the, with the foliage that's going on here. And the little cactuses. So, and this little watering can. Brilliant brilliant actually love it always watering the plants keeping them fresh keeping them well well maintained classic hufflepuff, hufflepuff common room now here's the common room which i was assuming to get with the traits i originally had but of course chose me gryffindor so let's see how slytherin does look oh very dark and dingy very i love the rock work how it's like chipped away on the roof that's very cool a lot of snakes, of course, understandably. Very dark. Schools woven in there as well. I wonder what that is in the case. Oh, this is the entrance. How's the entrance? Okay, so it's like a little... What's that on the ground? Oh, 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 Now that could be the best entrance I've seen. That could be the best. Let's pause it here. Sorry, let's pause it here. I want to know what's in this case. We have these globes around, which I'm sure you can interact with. You just spin them around and they're a bit of an interactive that adds to the world. But what the hell is this? I'm not too sure what that is. If someone knows a bit more about Harry Potter, then please tell me. Of course, it must be a fossil because there is bones over here. There's fossils over here. There's fossils here. Um, but like I said, you've got windows here and it just gives it like that really dark nighttime, like really gloomy look of a Slytherin common room, which fits quite well. A little chest set there. I like how it's laid out. It's it's spacious, but it's got kind of like communal areas where people can sit, talk, chat. A lot of bones around, fossils. Oh, long corridor there. Oh, some of the, oh the books for flapping their wings there. Unique. Oh, and a, is that a waterfall? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at that. Look at that massive long hall. That might be one of the biggest I've seen, to be honest. Ravenclaw was quite big. I think the lengthwise, I think if you just like go back to this shot here, <clears throat> that is so, so long in the form of you've got like kind of like a skylight coming through that gives it just a bit of light, not loads. It's got kind of like a light gray 
marble green for the columns that hold up the roof and it's kind of chipped away here but it's like different colors stones even if they've painted it and it's like chipped away over time it's it's like being a painted ceiling like you would have in a church and just the wear over time because it's such a maybe it's such an old common room and hogwarts is so old it's chipped away over time and it's just worn out all of this roof part so that that looks like a pond because there's lilies here and there seems to be yeah, there seems to be water flowing down. So either this is like an outdoor area that kind of like it's raining at the moment and it's falling down into the pond or this is just like a water feature inside there. It looks so cozy. Even though it's dark and gloomy, it looks very, very Hogwarts homey type feel. I do like it and I am a bit jealous. I'm not going to not gonna have it as my common room when the game comes out. But yeah. The Slytherin, Slytherin, Slyther, oh, I can't even speak. Slytherin, obviously I haven't got my parcel tongue in, looks amazing. Last but not least, the common room which everyone has seen in the movies and have also heard a lot about is the Gryffindor common room. Is it going to look similar, if not alike, to the common room that's in the movies? I'm not going to expect it to look exactly the same where things, certain things are, but of course this is going to be my common room, so let's get my first initial reaction. Perfect. Crests, Gryffindor crests above the fireplace there. I think that's a fireplace with banners and frames everywhere. And the banners are like kind of coating the walls as well. It's not like wallpaper. There you go, the woodwork, the stained glass windows. It's a very gentleman's like hunting style, English hunting club feel to it, which is, of course, what the movie portrayed and the way up to the chamber. Here we go. Classic door opening with the picture frame there. Oh, some cards flying around there. Maybe he's practicing his spells. Very cool. Oh, okay, so by the looks of it, interactions look to me like they have these... Obviously, they have little dots above them to indicate they're interactable. And obviously, when you get closer, they they, they pop up with this, the, the button you meant to press to interact with them. This did pop up, though. So this is actually in the Hufflepuff. So they'll be in every single common room, I'm assuming. So I think this will be an inventory chest. That you just dump everything in or you store things in yeah because it did pop up with one there so yeah I, I love the aesthetic and the trophies as well the trophies of the of gryffindor very very aesthetically pleasing for the com the common room which is i like to classify gryffindor as kind of like the main common room or the main house um but yeah it looks very similar to the movies I do like the use of banners and um, yeah, definitely well. And look at all the rugs everywhere. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. The one thing I did want to pick up is I like how, because it's like, this is where I say it's very, it's a very proud house and Hogwarts would probably say Gryffindor is the main house of Hogwarts or the face of Hogwarts. It's because it actually has, it's a banner inside the common room where amongst all its trophies, it's all the banners and the banners on the walls and everything. It even has... A common room with all of the other houses on this hogwarts banner so they're very proud flag bearers of hogwarts so this is why i think also i'm in some way i'm kind of glad i got sorted into uh, to gryffindor because even though it's we've seen it around in the movies I, i'm i still believe we can visit other common rooms but it does look quite cozy it does look quite cozy anyway enough of that the game looks amazing Hopefully, there'll be some more trailers as we get later and closer to the game's release. But of course, I won't be releasing any more episodes like I did episode zero. This is going to be a reaction video. So hopefully, there's more trailers coming out in the future from now until then. And uh, let's see how it goes. Thank you for joining me for another video, people. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.